डॉक्टर स्वर्चला साइंटिफिक डायरेक्टर विद जीवा फर्टिलिटी सेंटर्स वाई इज द जेनेटिक हेल्थ ऑफ अ स्पर्म इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वाई आर वी गिविंग मोर इम्पॉर्टेंस टू दिस हेल्थ इज द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे वेल द सिंगल एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर अ स्पर्म इज टू कैरी जेनेटिक मटीरियल इन टू द एग द स्पर्म हैज ऑल द डी एन ए दैट अ मेल और अ फादर विल बी ट्रांसमिटिंग टू द ऑफ स्प्रिंग सो दिस इज ट्रांसमोटेड बाई द स्पर्म इन टू द एग एंड एग गिवस इट्स ओन डी एन ए दीज टू डी एन ए जॉइन टूगेदर एंड अूनिक इंडिविजुअल इज फॉर्म सो द एंटायर इम्पॉर्टेंस विद इन द स्पर्म्स एनाटमी इज ऑन द हेड द हेड कंटेन्स द डी एन ए एंड एनी डैमेज देयर और कुड लीड टू डैमेज इन द डी एन ए विच इज पैक्ड इन साइड द हेड द डी एन ए इज पैक इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टू हेलिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स इफ यू लुक एट द स्ट्रक्चर दीज आर लाइक टू लैडर्स गोइंग अप and uh, the important coding is on those ladders these are made of protein so if there is any breakage in this protein th- this leads to sperm dna fragmentation and sperm dna fragmentation depending on its severity can cause infertility or can result in poor quality embryos or can cause miscarriages also if such sperms fertilize eggs the relevance and the importance of sperm dna fragmentation is uh, gaining a lot of importance now uh, because a lot of research has revealed what causes this sperm dna fragmentation and what are the repercussions of these sperm dna fragmentation the most important factors are age as age advances even in men sperm dna fragmentation in- increases and in men as old as 45 to 50 sperm dna fragmentation has uh, been shown to cause infertility the reason why the couple is not able to achieve pregnancy is due to sperm dna fragmentation in these uh, couples where the male age is more than 45 the next cause could be smoking smokers have been evaluated very extensively when it comes to sperm dna fragmentation there have been studies that showed that difference between smokers and non smokers is very stark as in non smokers have very low dna fragmentation and smokers have very high dna fragmentation even in smokers they have seen short term smokers and long term smokers by short term i mean that smokers that were smoking and stopped and then there was there an improvement in sperm dna fragmentation or in people who continued smoking so they saw that smokers who are short term smokers that is they quit smoking and they regained a healthy lifestyle their dna fragmentation also improved so as to say that there was a repair in the dna of the sperms so this was a very interesting uh, study also the smokers who had high dna fragmentation had a higher rate of miscarriage in their in their uh, partners so this was a very good connection smoking had is the cause of high dna fragmentation which leads to higher miscarriage rate so this was a very good revelation and it also helps patients to quit smoking another cause of high dna fragmentation is cancer treatment people undergoing cancer treatment men undergoing cancer treatment are often suggested to freeze a sample of sperms before going for treatment because this treatment can lead to higher dna fragmentation of the sperms therefore that's also one of the cause another cause is alcohol yes alcohol also causes dna fragmentation therefore it should be reduced when trying for fertility so these are few of the important causes of dna fragmentation how is it performed and what is its uh, cut off well it's a very simple test when it comes to dna fragmentation all you need to do is give a sample in an ejaculate and we send it off to a genetic laboratory where the test is performed to see what is the fraction of sperms having dna fragmentation it's usually a percentage and about 100 to 200 sperms are looked at and a calculation is done anything under 30% fragmentation as in in 100 sperms if less than 30 are not having dna fragmentation it is supposed to be a normal sample anything above 30 or 50 reaching 50 it is supposed to be a sample that is ha- having more dna fragmentation such a sample gives us an idea about the success rate as in we can it gives a predictive value of the procedure if we were to use such a sample then the success of any procedure could be low and this has been evaluated by ivf as well when high dna fragmentation sample were used the success rate of such people undergoing ivf with these sperms was low therefore it is a very good predictive value tool it is an indicator of your success rate if you want to understand more about dna fragmentation what are your chances of success with your dna fragmentation if you have already performed the test please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you